everybody, it's Kitsune Harui, and I've got mail. Hey, I'm opening up two packages. Uh, the first package that I'm opening was sent to me by my patron, the Bobcat. Um, we'll go with her nickname for right now, because I haven't asked her yet if it's okay to use her real name. But the Bobcat went looking on Amazon and found me some things she felt that I should open up in one of my blind box videos. And the second thing that I've got is a package I ordered from Wish. And we know how, the notorious Wish. Sometimes you're going to pay nothing but shipping and get something really good. Other times you're going to really going to get what you pay for. Anyway, if you're not familiar with Wish, not sponsored by the way, I just happened to have gotten caught up in the web of it. Um, Wish is one of those sites where you can order from, you know, places in China or whatever. There are actually individual shops that are all selling through Wish. And they might have anything in there. And I do mean anything, parental discretion advised. Um, but, you know, I get a lot of my pins and things, my cheapy ones from there. Um, sometimes I'll get jewelry findings from there because they do still carry a few that I've not been able to find anymore in the stores because they're kind of out of style but some of the stuff I do still uses them so how a jewelry finding becomes out of style I do not know anyway that's what the second package is and I, I do have a notion of the quality I am getting in here because I have another item that I already gotten of a similar type but I'll explain that when I get there first of all let's get straight on into it the first bit of mail from the mailbox and again, thank you so very much, Bobcat, for sending the package. And I know you just like to see me use my uh, sharp, shiny, lovely things. So here we go. And don't borrow the letter trying to look closer. I already scratched out the address. Sound effects make it go faster, don't you know? And, in this reverie package, bubbles, and bubbles, and, oh, there's a couple of things in here. First one is, Make Unicorn Poop, the Poopsie Slime Surprise. I know where this is ordered, because we were discussing me and my love of slime. Yes. Just love putting my hands all over it. Yeah. And apparently, cute packaging though. This one you start from here and you're, you kind of unroll this one. Um, if you have never done poopsie stuff before, there's like an order in which you open things to reveal the surprise. Uh, a lot of times there's a really cute little doll or whatever, but there is always always slime. Imagine my joy. But anyway, Poopsie Slime Surprise. Oh, what's this little guy? There's two of this little guy. Hey Bob, did you know you were getting me a uh, multi-packs of things? Because you did. <laughs> you got to have me go maybe for a couple of uh, things. Who's your llama? Oh my goodness. It's in a little camper trailer. <laughs> a llama in a camper trailer. Yeah. I think. I, by the way, I changed where my lighting sits. I think maybe it's too high. So, who's your llama includes one of four silly features. One, two, three, four, well... There's a llama inside. Mystery pack. One llama with accessory. Series 2. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I do like me a llama. When it was little, our neighbors had them. There was one named Tony. It loved Mom. <laughs> it didn't love Dad. Anyway, there's... Whoops! That one's not sealed. I didn't peek. But anyway, two llamas. That should come out to be an interesting little doodad. And there's a box. Like a whole box of something here. 
Fairyland Cuties Little Fairy 2-Pack. So is this the actual... I am going to peek. I think maybe there's two packages in here. Because this is not a display pack, obviously. Oh. Yeah, there's two packages. Yeah, I can continue. Okay, yeah. It's just a shipping package. Look here! Oh, that's cute! It's like a little gift wrap thing. It's got a fuzzy pom pom. It's sparkly. Sparkly means everything, you know. And there are two of them in here. These are series one. I have not seen these anywhere before. So, Bob, you hit the jackpot. You found one I hadn't even heard of yet. So, we're actually going to get a real. Ooh, it, it feels like an egg is in there. I better stop it. And if I'm anything like my mother, it's very, very hard to give her a Christmas gift without her figuring out, without even so much as trying. She don't look at it. She don't shake the box. She doesn't even try to find where the box is. She will know. Because we all know what's going on in each other's heads. Oh! There it went. My lighting. I'm going to leave that right where it's at. And now I better turn it off. It's going to start a fire. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Evidently, my little shelf over there is not nearly wide enough for my teeny little light to sit on. And it took a flying dive. It didn't hurt anything. Um, but now my lighting's kind of back to that harshness on one side. And yeah, okay, well, it's on the desk again. It'll live. Nothing broke. So on with the uh, opening. These were the, of course, these were the lovelies from the Bobcat. Again, thank you. They're going to get worked into probably a couple of different videos because I also have some stuff right back here that's going to join it. So, two more videos for blind box openings coming up. Next is the package from Wish. I'm a doll collector. You know it. So you know this is a doll. And on Wish, they have all jointed dolls. Some are resin. The prices are comparable. Be careful when you're buying those because they may or may not be recasts. But there are also plastic ones. And the plastic ones are, are what they are. Um, this is a plastic one. I intentionally ordered a plastic one because, one, I wanted to see what they were like, what kind of quality. And also, I'm looking at this for those who want to do modifications on ball-jointed dolls. If you do not want to spend a small fortune on a doll and end up ruining it while you're trying to learn, get a plastic doll. I mean, yes, you can find damaged dolls that people are reselling and just work on those. But it's still going to be a little bit expensive, even if they're damaged. Uh, just because of what they are. I mean, they are a collectible doll that increases its value with modification. And, and let... When the, I'm waving a short thing at you. Um, and unless, of course, it's one of the ones that are the full kit specialty design ones, those you don't want to change if you want to keep their value. They will devalue if you lose the accessories and the parts and change the face-ups and... Those keep the same, but any other ball jointed doll, it's really intended to be modified. You really want to make them into something really, really unique as, and make it the way you want it to be. But anyway, for those who want to practice it, it's good to have a plastic doll. So, oh, she kind of, well, let's get started. The head looks gigantic on this one. But, also looks like it, yeah, this one has an opening cap. Uh, I have ordered two of these. Uh, this is the second one. The first one was just to go, mm, let's see what this is really about. It's a cheaper one and more in the normal size of dolls I get. Uh, this one is a full 60. I don't own any 60 dolls. No, this is 60, 
centimeters, I believe. The biggest ones. I don't own any. I have the head for one. I have not gotten around to actually getting a body for him because the prices are a little bit more than I can do just uh, now. One of these days he will have a body and he will be gorgeous and, well, this isn't bad at all. I know you can't see what I'm doing here. We're going to lead up to the reveal. So first of all, this doll came with eyes. Not just one set, but, let me get them arranged so you can see them well. This doll came with, honestly, three sets of eyes. So you have three different colors here. I've got a brown, a blue, and a hazel that's just barely different from the blue. So that, that's really nice. Three sets, you get a choice. Um, often when you get a doll with eyes, you get whatever they stuck in the head. Which, for me, the one doll, the first doll I ordered, uh, he was a fantasy doll Glenn. Um, I ordered him because I thought the sculpt was absolutely beautiful. And funnily enough, um, Bobcat's nephew, when he was little, looked just like the doll. Or the doll looked just like him, really. It, it was really cute. But anyway, when the doll came, it had bright red eyes. And I had gotten the white skin. So no color. It worked for me because I was making him into a yokai anyway. So he here he is. Me, he's, he was my very first. He he's still my very favorite, my original. Um, but he's white skin, and red eyes, and I gave him the thick black eyeliner. And he's got a fur wig that somebody had made for me at one of the doll meets, and I put little horns on it. So that's really cute. But then I can also switch him out to this nice little brown wig. And it makes him kind of look like a little creepy kid from a 1960s horror film, you know, with red eyes. But anyway, he I think he's cute. He creeps out some people, though. So. <laughs> but anyhow, some re very nice eyes. And actually, they're, they're pretty nice. They are plastic, but the doll's plastic, to be fair. Um, the brown's a little flat, but the others have some very nice detail. And I know, my, my camera won't show you anything up close. But, take my word for it, they're pretty nice. She also, like, comes with her own little pair of shoes. Yes, again, plastic, but again, the doll is plastic. But they are cute, like little Lolita shoes. Have a little bow on the toe and lacy details. I, I could flesh these out. I mean, they're just basically a hollow shell. And they're stretchy at the back with the slip-on thing. So it opens up to let the heel in, which is good. Um, but I could flesh these out and make them look a little nicer too and they'll still work for the doll. Great, huh? So not not bad. She wasn't very expensive. I think I think I paid twenty two dollars. Which considering a doll of this size in resin will normally cost you anywhere from five hundred dollars to a thousand. This is a good deal to practice on. This is really where you want to go. So anyway, naked doll warning. Don't freak out on me. Here she is. Um, oh, she's a little sticky on her head, but that's where stuff was. Head cap opens. And, well, she does have a, pr a cute face, though. She looks a little sad, but she does have a pretty face. Oh, come on up out of there, honey. And there she is. Um, to give you an idea of scale, um, she's pretty close in scale to a smart doll, if you know what those are, or the largest of the regular ball jointed dolls. She is plastic, hollow, upper arm joint, elbow joint. Her joints are pretty stiff, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If you want your doll to be able to hold a pose, this one will hold. Get the head cap on tight. Um, knee joint. Yeah, she looks like she'll hold a pose pretty de decently. And let me check one thing. I check this with every doll I get. I want to see if they can stand on their own. I often won't leave them standing by themselves for safety's sake. I'll usually put a doll stand, and yeah, she'll stand on her own. So, 
here we are. Um, this is the previous doll that I had ordered. Same company. Um, very, very inexpensive. I think I think I paid shipping for this one. And that was it. Um, also plastic. Also came with cute little shoes. But this one has closed eyes, so of course didn't come with any. So I have a child doll as well. Which is much, much smaller. Also comes with a shoe, but this shoe is a little more rubbery and more solid. Can you stand? They can both stand very nicely. So if you're looking for a practice doll and don't want to spend a fortune and, you know, aren't overly picky about things, I mean, yeah, the sculpt is a little funky. She looks like she's wearing a corset, and not realistically shaped in the middle. That's all right. You're going to be looking at this doll wearing clothes. You're not going to see whether they have abs and things. Um, but you're looking for a doll that you can actually get in there, do some work with, not worry about it. Got to buy a replacement. Okay, it's coming from where she got to wait a month or something. This is a good doll for that. Um, I would recommend it. Um, I like her material. The head seems to be vinyl. So those who are you, it's a thick vinyl, by the way, not the really thin stuff like, you know, fashion doll of the week wears pink, has big B in her name. Um, it's a thicker vinyl. It's very firm. But I do believe you should still be able to do the acetone shrink if you need to or the acetone grow. Um, if you don't know how that's done, there are people who are much better at doll modification than me. Also here on YouTube, go find them, like Dollightful. Dollightful is a good one. Check her out. Also not sponsored, but hey, I watch her. She's worth looking. But um, yeah, two really good dolls. Um, I, w I will note one thing. The big one has an open head cap. The little one does not. But there are lines to tell you where to cut and where to root hair. So this doll was intended to have more done to it. It was probably manufactured as something specific already done and sold for children's play doll. But, um, you know, this is just the base mold for that. So they don't do the things. Yeah, you can cut that open, glue it back in, take a little bit of epoxy sculpt, add a, a flange in there so you can take it on and off. So it works like this one does where you've got the little thing right there that holds it on you can do that that's it, it's doable your sculpt may not be perfect the first time whose is practice <laughs> so anyway this was the I got mail my wish order and some wonderful things from the Bobcat thank you again so much and everyone thank you for watching if you would like to send me some messages um, artwork, whatever you would like to do, send it to kitsune underscore h at yahoo.com. Make sure to put in the title what what you're doing. And this is artwork, fan work, letter, so it doesn't get lost in all the spam that I've got. And believe me, i got a lot. Um, otherwise, I'll be seeing you later. Like, subscribe, share, please share. And visit me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.